Next one we're gonna talk about is absorption and effects. And you have to have absorption in the tissues if you're going to affect those tissues. If you don't have absorption, you don't end up with any energy transfer. So absorption is a good thing. Photons of light in that red to near infrared spectrum um, are, are actually absorbed by different types of what are called chromophores in human cells. So either a cytochrome C oxidase, which is the last step in the respiratory chain in the cell, um, and then also mitochondrial bound water layers. Those, those components are really important in the production of ATP. So when we expose tissues, when we expose the cell and the mitochondria to infrared light especially, then we see an improved rate of production of ATP. When you improve ATP production in the cells, you get better cellular health, you get cellular repair, uh, replication and division as well. That whole process of producing more ATP also releases limited amounts of nitric oxide and, and reactive oxygen species, which those right there activate more growth factors and healing. We can also get some vasodilation for improved cellular, or excuse me, improved blood flow to the cells and that therefore enhances cellular repair. We see increased phagocytosis, angiogenesis, collagen synthesis, and so on with exposure to red and infrared light. So when we're talking about the effects of absorbing red and infrared light in the tissues, we're really talking specifically about the effects within the cells. That's how laser works. Having effects in the cells that stimulate the repair and regenerative process. You also control ischemia, hypoxia, and edema after injury, and really you're creating that favorable environment for good healing. Many, many cases of, of chronic pain and significant injury, the body is not able to un overcome those factors on its own. And so instead of healing, you get sustained injury. And laser and light therapy can, in some cases, enable that process to actually move ahead and start working like it's supposed to. Again, if you want to know more about that one, I'm breezing over this stuff pretty quick, but you can follow this link to another podcast more about tissues themselves and what's happening in those tissues while you're applying laser.